Okay, so for languages, the user interface is the same within video campaign types as it is for display campaign types. So what do you need to know here? Essentially, you gotta think about your ads. You have video ads. We are trying to target YouTube, which is part of the Google Display Network. And our ads are not just text ads, right? They are ads where people are speaking in them, most likely. So that's not always true, but most cases, somebody is speaking in them. And they're speaking a specific language. So that's important when we go and show our ads to people. So take a step back, ask yourself, what languages do I want to see my ad? And for the most part, it'll probably be the language that your video is produced in, the dialogue that people are speaking in it. Not always the case, maybe. I just can't think of a circumstance where it wouldn't be. If you were going to create a campaign with multiple languages, where you're targeting multiple languages, then what I would do is create separate campaigns for each language. That way, it just will help you in the long term to mentally compartmentalize. Like, okay, I have this campaign for Spanish, this campaign for English. I don't have to worry about, you know, the mixture of different campaign assets that are in one language versus another. I know that they're completely separate based on the fact that they're in two different campaigns. So if I, would, if I were to do a Spanish campaign, I would say ES dash and then whatever the name of the campaign is, and then target Spanish like this. And then I would create another campaign. Let's say it was for English speaking people, EN, and I would take this away, create a new campaign, ENG English. And remember, keep all your English ads in the English campaign, keep all your Spanish ads in the Spanish campaign. That's how I'd approach it. If you're curious and you want to stick around, um, I'll just talk briefly about a little bit of uh, how display targeting works with languages on the display network. So first we have to understand the, that YouTube is part of the Google Display Network. That's all that this, this uh, page is basically saying. And on the display network, Google looks at the pages that someone is viewing currently or has recently viewed to determine which ads to show. This means that they detect the language from either the pages that the person has viewed in the past or the page that they are currently viewing. And when you go and actually look at the documentation for how to create true view campaigns, it just says, choose the language of your customers, which is not helpful. This was the best article I could find. So here it is, the language preference set on the YouTube homepage determines in what language a user prefers to view YouTube. What does that mean? On YouTube, you have language preferences. This is the strongest signal in terms of how you are going to target your ad to YouTube. And we're talking about YouTube because we're talking about video campaigns and most of the campaign ad formats, the ad formats that we're going to create are on YouTube and they are video. So we need to know this. In addition to other signals such as the user's browser language, location, and viewing history, those are also used to determine what language the user is familiar with. Based on these, YouTube will display ads that are targeted to these languages. And then it goes on to say, we recommend that you target the language in which your ad is written. If you are running an in-stream ad or a promoted video ad, we recommend targeting the language in which your video is produced. For example, if your ad is written in English, target English speaking users. Similarly, if your video contains Spanish dialogue, target Spanish speaking users. Google will not translate your ad for you. So that's pretty cut and dry. That's pretty much saying produce or set the language that your video dialogue is in, plain and simple. And then lastly, I'll just talk about this display and video help article has said, show your ads based on the language a user speaks. This is determined based on the language preference a given user sets on the YouTube homepage, as well as various other signals, such as the user's browser language, location, and viewing history. So we keep seeing a pattern here. The history that the user is used to looking at content in, 
matters, the location that they're in, the browser language matters, and the strongest signal, the language that they set for the preference here is the strongest signal. So that's how you determine the language. And if you're going to choose multiple languages, separate them into multiple campaigns for each language.